What is up, my Lurkana goons? Welcome back to the Lurkana goons channel. My name is Kevin, and you're watching the Friday Market Watch. We do these every Monday and Friday, and we're going to go over some Lurkana meta trends, some news, and some card prices. My goons, how are you doing? I want to get on into this Market Watch and talk about the meta, the meta trends, because if you're going to play at the Disney Lurkana Challenge in Chicago this weekend, there's a couple things you're going to want to know. And a couple cards you're probably going to need for your deck if you're planning on playing this weekend at any Lurkana tournaments, whether it be the Disney Lurkana Challenges or the Star City Games Con. There's a lot of tournaments happening in Lurkana, and there's a lot of new players coming into the game. And we're going to be able to notice this based off of some of these um, buying trends. There's you know, a lot of sales movement happening this week on certain cards. And later on in the video, we're going to go over market trends for the prize cards as well. So we're going to get into a little bit of everything in this market watch. So if you are a Lorcana goon and you like the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it does support the channel. My goons, it feels like an emerald meta and we're just living in it. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below if you think that emerald is the best color. So many people talking about whether or not we should banned Bucky or how good uh, Diablo is and whatnot and uh, I feel like you can play a, a couple different decks in the meta right now but Emerald is probably um, the main color you're gonna see uh, this weekend Emerald Steel um, some people are still even playing Emerald Amethyst and uh, as you can see here the most expensive card in Ursula's Return is still Diablo Devoted Herald which is dominating the meta right now like this card is extremely polarizing you need to have an out for this card in your deck and half the time when you're playing the match if you're playing against emerald steel you're constantly asking yourself am i gonna hold on to this card for diablo like medusa brawl um sisus cards like that uh babooms and fire the cannons cards like that you need to hold on to in your hand to make sure you respect diablo it is no wonder why this card is selling for a whopping $49 and $1.35 shipping. $50 for this non-foil legendary. Um, nice to see if you like seeing expensive cards in the meta. Um, IH Games has you for $60 with $3 shipping if you want the cold foil Diablo though. Not bad, about $13 more for the cold foil on this super expensive legendary. The most expensive legendary in Lorcana now if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right next to Sad Beast. Actually, Sad Beast actually passing Diablo today. Very interesting to see that these have been still climbing up in price they're almost $60 again token force is going to be the lowest verified for a near mint sad beast for $55.35 there's only 28 listings for the cold foils and look at this they're almost at $75 already the pokey shop bst $74.97 with uh, they got two of them listed there so you can buy two of them almost $75 there was a point in time where sad beast was a hundred dollar cold foil so just remember that and um you're definitely playing this in emerald steel you're playing diablos in emerald steel you're probably playing four of each um so i think at some point the demand is going to get there and these cards are going to continue to climb in price I think um, Sad Beast being from a uh, from set two, uh, making it a little bit harder to acquire uh, is going to make it a little bit more expensive. Whereas um, Diablo is from Ursula's Return, and we're still opening packs for Ursula's Return. The box retail date was literally just last week. So, what's crazy about the Emerald Steel deck is that the same cards that you use to stop um, Beast Tragic Hero from drawing on your opponent's turn are the same cards that you're probably going to use to out diablo so sometimes it feels like you don't have enough medusas enough sisus you know enough brawls with ice blocks and whatnot so uh sad to be definitely making an impact in the meta right now being played in emerald steel just like um Levison monsters dragon kind of coming back into style i've been seeing people play this in ruby amethyst you definitely play this in ruby sapphire and as of today there's still more than 30 dollars legendaries for the lowest verified you're gonna have to pay 32.98 by the poke shop bst so about 33 dollars and um the lowest verified for the cold foot is going to be also by Pokeshop BSD for $70.98. So that, that's uh, not $100 anymore, at least. Ursula Deceiver of All, still almost at that $40 mark, kind of bouncing off $37. Refined Gaming is going to be the second lowest verified, actually. Wood Creek's cards has you for $36 with a dollar shipping for your Ursula Legendaries, Deserve, um, Deceiver of All. And if you want them in a cold foil, $45 is what you got to pay. Collector Store LLC. It is a tournament weekend, so I, I can imagine some of these prices kind of being um, a bit demanding. So you might have to pay just a little bit more for your Ursulas depending, at the, um, depending on where you're at. The Bell Strange but Special Legendary is still selling for around $25. Omega Gaming has you for 
92 for the lowest verified and the cold foils are going to be 52 dollars today that's pretty nice to see manticore game shop 52 85 for your cold foil bell strange but specials comboing this off with lucky dime is just too good so obviously if you're playing a sapphire deck you might want to consider playing this in your main deck some people playing it in um red blue some people not i definitely feel like you might want to play this in sapphire steel but the new aerial card does a very similar thing that bell does which lets you basically quest for five um and that other that new aerial that gains lore if you have more items in your opponent um it also fills that um that slot in your deck the biggest difference being that that aerial is a six cost character she's uninkable as well um this bell is inkable has the extra ability to ink another card during your turn so um some people playing both some people playing one or the other either way still a great legendary and sapphire in this meta Sisus have just been coming down in price and i love to see it if you want to play a, a legendary uh, sisu in your deck you don't have to pay more than 30 dollars anymore lois verified is going to be kenton's forge for 22.99 with a dollar shipping awesome to see so it's around 25 dollars even a little less if you can find it for a little less than 25 and there's going to be 77 cold foil listings and the cold foils are only 36 dollars with a dollar shipping look at this this person minor nerds has two cold foils for 15 dollars with a dollar shipping there's no way this is real right i can add those i can add those to my cart wow sorry guys but i'm taking those sorry i know some people don't like when i do that but i couldn't resist on that one you just gotta snipe the card sometimes you gotta check on ebay you gotta check on all platforms check on um on offer up you know or you gotta check on tct player as much as i do so you can find some of them good deals right but uh, let's see if we can find any more good deals today we have a robin hood champion of sherwood going up in a price still in today's meta check this out some new Heights for Robin Hood Champion of Sherwood. Lowest verified today is going to be Magic Stronghold for $35.12. But after that, they jump right immediately straight to more than $40. My goons, even the non-verified sellers have them for $38 plus 5 book shipping. Buy It Now Games is the next verified seller for $43.17. See, if you want your Robin Hoods today, there's two people who have them. Um, or oh, there's one person who has it for relatively cheap, and I'm not going to take that one from you. So by all means, that's like a $10 discount right there on your Robin Hood Champion of Sherwood. And your cold foils today let's check out the cold foes lois verified is going to be a 50 dollar cold foe by level up sync i love to see it robin hood going up in price all the way to a 50 dollar cold foil today um lucky dime also going up in price i'm telling you man sapphire is everywhere alongside emerald those two uh dominant colors in this format no reason it's a uh, no surprise why lucky dime is now a 15 dollar cold foil again this was a 20 dollar cold foil at one point um and the non-foils are almost 12 dollars refined gaming llc has you for 11.48 for the non-foil a uh, lucky dime so they're more than 10 dollars now if you missed out on getting your lucky dimes you're gonna have to pay close to 15 and at that point you might as well buy the cold foils for 15 because there's a couple of um non-verified sellers who have it for even cheaper so uh you know why not just get the cold foils if they're basically the same price as the non-foils uh, rapunzel gifted with healing now 40 dollars no longer in the 30 dollar range sorry guys but you're gonna have to pay 40 plus dollars for your rapunzel's now paragon city games 40 dollars 86 cents shipping included that's for the normal the cold foils there's 33 listings and the lowest verified today is going to be 69.52 by essence they have you right there 70 dollars for the cold foil rapunzel's Bosses are still steadily going up this format. Lois Verified is going to be $16.22 by the Nerd Couple. After that, Paragon Games has you for $16.54. So not quite $20, but they're definitely kind of bouncing off that $17 mark. And Cold Foils, there's only 14 listings left. Lois Verified is going to be Biscuit and Gravy um, for $25.78 with two bucks shipping. They have a 50% rating though. So don't know if you want to go through them. They are a verified seller, however. And the, after that though, the Pokeshop BST has has you for $30.95. Mufasa Betray Leader Cold Foil is now basically $30. So shout out Lil Jerry. I sold you one for a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this Mufasa going up in price this format. I think people are starting to see the value in playing a Mufasa deck. And um, the fact that the Cold Foil is no longer in the $20 range, I would value it at $30. And I think these are going to keep going up personally, um, just because of the fact that it's a playable deck. It's a legendary. It's a staple in a certain type of deck that you want to play. And I like it personally. The Mickey Mouse Brave Little Tailors are really cheap right now. We have some cold foils for mega cheap. Check this out. Minor Nerds has you for $20 and a dollar shipping. This is the same person I just bought the other Sisu cold foils from. So my goons, check out their shop if you want some discounts today. After that, though, look at how big of a difference this is. The next person has it for $49.99 by Flower City Games CCG. So it's about a $50 cold foil, which is a significant drop compared to what it was like months ago. 
as for some cool supers to look out for in ursula's return these are some ones i want to go over this is the aerial i was talking about by the way that gains a bunch of lore when you have more items than the opponent um this card has ward so it makes it very sticky on the board and being able to quest for five is pretty awesome obviously and being able to combo this off with lucky dime is pretty crazy too so it's no surprise why this is more than a dollar card it's going to be a dollar 18 cents with a dollar 22 shipping so almost three dollars for this super rare non-foil and if you want the cold foil aerials this aerial is called treasure collector if you want the cold foil aerial treasure collectors you're gonna have to pay a little bit more they're about five bucks. It's about a five dollar cold foil. Hometown gaming, low is verified. Not too bad, not too shabby in my opinion. Um, that's basically the same price as this Flynn Rider Frenemy non foil. Check this out. The Flynn Rider Frenemies have just been shooting up in price. Love to see it. A lot of people playing this in Ruby Amethyst. I think this card gives you an edge in the early game against any Sapphire deck. Personally, I'm not sure if I'm still playing it though, so I'm just gonna sell mine as fast as I can because five bucks seems like a lot for a super in Lorcana. I don't really see supers go this high. Lady Tremaine, Madame Medusa. Those that never really were like five, six dollar supers. You know, it, it took a long time before I got to that point before Madame Medusa started selling for um, twenty dollars on the cold foil. You know what I mean? But I get the feeling we're gonna start seeing a lot more of these supers kind of jump up in price in Lorcana, especially now that we have the new premier event leagues like the Lorcana Championships and whatnot. And we're gonna see a lot more players come into this game. So some of the cards you play four of in the deck are gonna start becoming a little bit more valuable. So if you see cards like Flynn Rider in your pile of bulk, make sure to put them in your binder because you can get as much as five dollars for each one today lowest verified is by the nerd couple shout out you guys for having these low prices 525 after that though pssm cards has them for 5.99 six dollars flynn rider is almost a six dollar card today love to see it the cold foils are just a little bit more lowest verified is going to be nine dollars with a dollar fifty shipping so it's about a ten dollar cold foil now and a six dollar non-foil what shout out flynn rider friends love to see that Here's some more supers to somewhat justify what I was just saying. Uh, Tamatoa is so shiny. Now going up to as high as $7. Low is verified for the non-foil Tamatoa. And look, a bunch of them selling here for around $8 to $9 actually. So Tamatoa is about a $8 to $9 non-foil now. Uh, Seraph's Haven has you for $7. After that, Knight's Arm has it for $5 with $2 shipping. So plenty of sellers have them for $7. And there's only 15 listings left for the cold foil Tamatoas. And they're as high as $13. For the lowest verified so i mean 13 dollars doesn't sound too bad when you're paying almost nine dollars for the non-foil and there's only a couple left look they start to hit 15 16 dollars at the bottom of this page so tomato is so shiny only 15 listings less left for this cold foil and like i've been talking about sapphire and emerald are like the two big colors this format in my opinion so i think a lot of people are leaning towards playing a deck like ruby sapphire or sapphire steel um if you're kind of learning the game and tamatoa you want to play four of each of those in that deck for the most part in my opinion on top of that, if you're deck building for this weekend's tournament, make sure you have outs to Tamatoa in your deck. Whenever I'm deck building, I always have to ask myself, do am I playing enough um, cards like Lady Tremaine or Bee King Undisputed or Let It Go? Stuff that I know can eliminate a Tamatoa when they play it on turn eight because that is Sapphire's favorite play to come back. You know, if they set up a Lucky Dime, they play a Tamatoa like on turn nine and then they have four items and they're able to tap their Lucky Dime that same turn and they just start gaining a bunch of lore. And if you can't get rid of the Tamatoa that same turn, you're gonna have a problem so when you're playing against sapphire decks be sure to always have an out to tamatoa Madame Medusa, just like I was mentioning, some pretty cool supers in Lorcana. This is now a $5 super. Basically, lowest verified is going to be Dolly's Toys and Games, $4.79 with $1.22 shipping for this Madame Medusa non foil Lorcana super. And the cold foils are going to be a little bit cheaper than they were a couple days ago. No longer in that $20 range, but still pretty expensive. $17.45 PSSM cards, lowest verified. And there's 20 listings, and they're all close to $20 for the foil Madame Medusa's. Whole new world. Check this out. Out. Lowe's verified is now 1145 so they kind of bounced off that $10 mark and they've been kind of slowly climbing back up past 10 bucks uh, now they're almost $12 and the cold foils they used to be 20 now they're 1607 Lowe's verified by Spencer's collectibles so maybe try and find some of these for $15 from the cold foil for this weekend that's kind of nice uh, Cogsworth seeing a little bit more popularity this weekend people playing Sapphire Steel and a lot of people like playing Cogsworth especially if you're playing whole new world Cogsworth has wards so it almost guarantees your ability to sing a whole new world because you can't target them 
Lowest verified today for Cogsworth is going to be two seventy four with a dollar twenty two shipping by Overdose Gaming. So Cogsworth is about a four dollar non foil super. Then these supers are really kind of bumping up in price this week. There's a lot of popularity in supers. And check this out: the cold foil is as cheap as six dollars, five ninety nine by in house games. Lowest verified at that point, just buy a cold foil Cogsworth for six dollars instead of a non foil for four dollars. What are you doing? Aerial Spectacular Singer, now a $5 super. Love to see that. Omega Gaming has you for $4.40 with $1.22 shipping. If you're going to be playing Amber Steel, this format, you need this card, obviously. Omega Gaming has you for the Cold Foes as well for $12.81. I like Amber Steel, this format. A lot of people don't. I think it's a decent deck. I think it's more than decent, actually. Um, and if you're not playing Amber Steel, maybe you're playing Amber Ruby without Mufasa and you want to have Aerials to search those cards out. Aerial also having Singer 5 makes it so that you can use the Sing Together cards a lot easier so if you have like a sync together deck you're trying to put together maybe you want to play aerial you can search your sync together cards and you can sing them a lot easier like um look at this family or maybe something like second start of the right or whatever so i think aerial has a lot of potential so no wonder why it's almost a 15 dollar cold foil sitting at 1281 uh shipping included basically 13 dollars for this cold foil now let's get on into some popular rares from this weekend. We don't talk about Bruno, one of the best removal cards in Emerald, going to be selling for as cheap as a dollar sixty with a dollar twenty-two shipping. So about three dollars for this rare, and the cold foils are going to be as low as five dollars. Five forty-one. New Capenna has you five forty-one by Ditto. Be my favorite as well. Shout out you guys for having low prices. About five dollars for your cold foil we don't talk about brunos the queen's castle i feel like is becoming a very popular card if you're playing ruby amethyst amethyst in general you want to play maybe four queen's castle because of how good it is against emerald decks sometimes you can really slap this on turn four if you're having a good enough curve or if they're kind of having a slow opening and you can put so much pressure by putting queen's castle down no wonder why it's now a five plus dollar rare check this out lowest verified is uh token force they have you for 480 with a dollar 22 shipping spencer's collectibles has it for 499 uh with a dollar 22 shipping so it's almost about a six dollar rare actually if you want to take into consideration them shipping fees this is the new Gaston that you want to play in maybe your Amber Mufasa decks or maybe just your Amber decks in general. He lets you cheat out to extra ink. So if you're playing an Amber Ruby deck, you can play this Mufasa on turn three. On turn four, you can ink a card, use his ability to pay two less for the next character, and you can play something like Medusa on turn four. You can play something like Big Giant Tinkerbell on turn four as well. So I think this Gaston has a lot of potential. Lowest verified is going to be as low as 45 cents with a dollar 22 shipping. So he's only about a dollar or two uh, for this super and I think you might want to try him out in your Mufasa decks. Uh, Villain Gaming has you for $1.85 with $1.22 shipping. Uh, for the cold foil, still pretty cheap for this cold foil, only about $3. And like I was just saying, I, I love playing this card in the Mufasa decks. And Ruby Amber Mufasa, playing this on turn three and following up with like a Stitch Abomination, a Mulan, or even a Medusa, like I said, just goes such a long way. I think it has a lot of potential. A lot of people are playing this Sisu as well. Yeah, this Sisu is really popping this format. It's really good. It's it's almost like a Maui that you can play on turn three because of the amount of strength that it has sometimes by that turn. Um, but it can quest for two, which is so much pressure. Only having four willpower does mean that it does lose out to a fox, but it can survive. Um, like grab your swords, it survives smash, it survives the three damage ability. So he's gonna, this Sisu is going to be about a dollar sixty nine with a dollar twenty two shipping. So about three dollars for this rare. If you want this cold foil, there's only only 13 listings left wow that's actually only a little bit lowest verified is 2.99 with a dollar 69 shipping um by strike zone online and then it jumps straight to 5.19 with shipping included so i would say this is a five dollar cold foil already and i think it's going to keep going higher and higher because a lot of people are just jamming four of these sisu in their decks because it is that good I know I play four of these in my Ruby Amethyst list because I'm playing Flynn Rider Frenemy as well. So if you go turn two Flynn Rider and then turn three this Sisu, you're going to have the strongest character on the board. This Sisu is going to have at least five or six strength. So there's not really much your opponent can play after that to slow that down. And then your Flynn Rider starts getting a bunch of lore. On top of that, this card usually can contest Sapphire decks pretty well. It kind of plays around the whole ice block stuff because of the amount of strength this card character gets kind of puts it out of the ice block brawl 
combo range, and that's always nice to see, you know? And against Emerald, having four willpower and a bunch of strength just means that you're going to be able to clear any character. So you can keep questing with this character and feel pretty confident that when your opponent starts making trades, there you're going to get the value more than anything, right? And this it's the fact that the Sisu quest for two, she, her questing for two just adds so much more value to this card. So I do think it might be like a four of in like a Ruby Amethyst deck or some of the other Ruby decks you're playing. Um, if you want to speed the game up a little bit and you're playing Ruby Sapphire, consider playing this Sisu, man. Questing for two is broken. And speaking of broken cards, Rabbit is the most unfair card in Lorcana. Still my favorite card in Lorcana. Token Force, Lois Verified has you for the $1.94 with $1.22 shipping for your non-foil rabbits. So about $3 for your non-foil rabbits. And check this out. These cold foils are now $10. So $10 for your cold foil rabbits. Token Force, Lois Verified today. I think Morph is going to see a lot more play this format. I like this card a lot in Emerald Steel. Um, shout out Lorcana Decklist. They posted a, a decklist uh, playing for Morph and Emerald steel and i was like hey i play four more too i like it a lot um i think this card has some decent potential and has been coming down a lot in price in the foil range so uh today the lowest verified for the non-foil is going to be 184 with a dollar 22 shipping so about three dollars as well just like that merlin rabbit but the cold foils are pretty cheap they're only about five dollars today milton's collectibles has you for 525 with shipping included for your foil morphs way better than paying eight dollars last month right Fishbone Quill, love to see this one. Still climbing in price, man. I was saying this is a staple in Sapphire. This is going to hit $10 again, and it's on its way. Check out this graph. This card has just con been con continuously jumping up in price. Lois Verified today is going to be Seraph's Haven for $7 now. So now you got to pay $7 for your Fishbone Quills. Cold Foils are now double the price, $14 with 2 bucks shipping. Almost $20 for the Cold Foil Fishbone Quills. Love to see it. I got mine for way cheaper. There are some non-verified sellers that have them for just a little bit cheaper if you want to try and cop those but like i was saying around 15 dollars for the non for the cold foil fishbone quills but harum flavor sham another sapphire it's going to have some kind of expensive cold foils you know the non-foils are as low as three dollars token force a dollar 80 with a dollar 22 shipping but the cold foils there's only 15 listings left lowest verified is already 15 dollars basically 13.99 with a dollar 69 shipping by strike zone online shout out you guys but there are some sellers that have it for just a little bit cheaper if you want to cop it on there on then for by a non-verified seller so uh, it's about a 12 to 15 dollar cold foil for the Hiram flavor sham though by the way, when you're playing against this deck, uh, a deck that plays Hiram, uh, Flavor Shem, etc., etc., uh, save your outs uh, for this card too. Medusa's Brawl, everything. And it's crazy because like everything that stops um, Beast and Diablo is the same thing that stops um, these this card too. So you only have a certain amount of limited resources when you're playing the matches, obviously. And sometimes it feels like they're just playing top deck after top deck when you're wasting all your resources. But like there's so many cards, so many good cards in this format. Next up, I want to talk about some cool cold foils that you should be aware of cold foil goats they're about five dollars lowest verified today is a real big salt 333 with a dollar 22 shipping that's basically five dollars for a merlin goat on the cold foil section cold foil storm rage on these are kind these are getting kind of expensive kind of been climbing up in price the last month or so and still going they're going to be almost four dollars today 80 cards has you for 270 with a dollar 22 shipping that's almost four dollars for this cold foil common which is very nice to see Brawl is basically a penny common, but if you want the cold foils, they're still pretty cheap today. Lowest verified is going to be $1.93 with $1.22 shipping by Capital Cardboard. And I think this card is going to be a four of in a lot of decks, uh, in Ruby decks anyways, you know, and until formats uh, change. And I'm going to put you guys on game with this last one real quick because I'm going to be buying Magic Brooms, cold foil Magic Brooms, because I'm playing these in Ruby Amethyst. Nobody has four of them though, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to like add two to my car and then like one and one but i'm gonna be playing this broom and ruby amethyst with yen sid as well that combo is actually just a nice so i'm just throwing that out there i'll put you guys on uh, the cold foils are 50 cents of oh, i'm gonna buy these now why am i buying common cold foils well that's because some of the common cold foils that become staples will end up being almost five dollars like we just saw let the storm rage on we have popsicle right here selling for as low as 330 with a dollar 22 shipping for the cold foil popsicles by trade card buyer that's almost five dollars for these common cold foils the same way that the storm rage on was so some of these other cold foils that i'm looking at that are already becoming staples i'm going to start picking them up in in batches and now since we are in the Larkana Challenge weekend, I want to talk about the promos that you're going to be getting if you're attending the DLC 
in Chicago. So you're going to get this Dragon Fire promo by round three. Today, lowest verified is going to be a dollar, sorry, $125.99 by Envoy Gaming. And we have some sales data to confirm that a lot of these have been selling for around $115, which plus shipping, $120 ish, 125 So if you're going to the event and you want to sell these, maybe you can get rid of them for around $100 to 120 which is not bad at all for just entering the event, you know. But there's going to be a lot more on the market after um saturday tomorrow basically is when the event is so i do expect these to come down in price even more than what they already have because two weeks ago during the first lorcana challenge in north america they were selling for 200 to 250 and in just two weeks they've already come down more than a hundred dollars so uh we'll see how much they keep coming down as we get more um in circulation but if they if they hit around fifty dollars i might grab three more <laughs> you know what i mean well i'm actually i'm going to a lot of lurkana challenges so i almost don't have a reason to buy them but um i want to place it basically is what i'm saying We're playing the event good luck if you reach top 148 because there's going to be more than 1028 players you're going to receive this let it go promo which the lowest listing i can find right now on ebay is around 1300 dollars and this auction ends in 22 hours so by tomorrow we'll be able to see this true price but like i said there's going to be more um in circulation after this weekend because there's going to be 148 more given to people in the u.s and then if there's any more lurk color challenges there's 148 each time but you know if you do even better than that if you end up in top 64 you're going to get this top 64 cinderella foil enchanted promo now this is an auction that's going on this is a ccc pristine 10 it's already at $2,175 it ends in less than a day there's 26 bids so if you're a competitive player and you're paying attention to the prize card market if you have some of these prize cards pay attention to these auctions because they might be a little bit important at least I'm paying attention to this Rapunzel one because I still have my Rapunzel that I won for top uh, 32 at the Lurkana challenge and I have it raw uh, we do have this um, CGC 10, not pristine, but a CGC 10 um, being uh, auctioned as well. And it's by the same seller and they end at the same time in 14 hours from now. This one right now is at $1,325 dollars so these are pretty low in my opinion especially because like um you know obviously i sold my cinderella for more than this but you know we still have almost a whole day we'll see where they end up tomorrow and i do feel like these are gonna maybe dictate some of the some of the future asks and pricings that we might see for some of these prize cards right because at the end of the day these cards have to sell there's a bunch of listings for the prize cards obviously there's a lot of listings for the prize cards obviously some kind of expensive five thousand for the top 64 cindy promo fourteen hundred for the let it go and people asking for you know a, a high a high a high number for some of these like this rapunzel twelve thousand you know uh but we do have to see uh what these really sell for you know what i mean because we could we can list them for as high as we want but if no one's buying them at that price you know is it really the value but of course i would love to see the rapunzel sell for more than like ten thousand right there's also this uh, auction going on for the Cinderella playmat and you can win this playmat inside events at the Lorcana challenge events and they just announced the prize wall for that um, event structure and it, it's looking like it's going to be a little easier to get some uh, side event tickets for uh, for this prizing so I do I do expect um, these some of these Cinderella mats to also come down in price because some of the listings are a little high at around like four to five thousand dollars and this is just a side event mat this isn't like a top cut playmat or anything. And just to give some reference data, we do have a confirmed sale for this exact Cinderella playmat. Best offer accepted in a single bid or a best offer option for $1,000. Yes, this Cinderella playmat that you get in the side events for the Lorcana Challenge event sold for $1,000 on June 4th. Not that long ago. We also have a Cinderella confirmed sale for a top 64 Cinderella selling for $3,000 on the dot. Best offer accepted. So that's kind of nice. So if you make top 64 at the Lorcana Challenge and you walk away with around $3,000, not too bad. Bad. On June 1st, though, somebody did buy that same Cinderella mat for $2,475, which was through bids, 33 bids there. So, you know, the price for the mats does bounce around, but this is the cheapest I've seen this mat sell for $1,000. And with, you know, because it's a side event and because the tickets are a lot easier to get now in the side events, I feel like this might make some sense. But, you know, we'll see what those other Cinderella mats start selling at too, right? And if you are playing the side events, the Rapunzel's are selling for around three to two hundred dollars still. This one sold for five hundred, best offer accepted, but it doesn't really make sense because it's a sale price two fifty and then best offer five hundred. So that doesn't make sense to me. But uh, we do have some that are selling for more than two hundred dollars, around three hundred for this side event non-foil enchanted Rapunzel promo card. 
and the non-foil Cindy promos are selling for around 200, 250, 300, right? Oh, sorry, two, 200 right there. So I don't got to tell you that the side of Enterprising, you know, speaks for itself compared to some of the other events you might have attended in the past for other card games. And once again, for reference, here are the Let It Go promos that I've been selling. Let It Go Top 148 is what you got to do to get these. And as you can see here, most recent comps are 1500, 1300 on June 3rd, 1274 on June 6th, 1300 on June 5th, 1600 in auction on June 5th, which was just yesterday or two days ago. Love to see that. So, yeah, around $1,400, $1,500 is the asking price for the Let It Go. I wonder what it's going to be like after this weekend's are kind of challenges, but I think walking away with more than $1,000 for top 148 is more than a good day's work. And you know I gotta bring up Elsa, just so we gotta talk about some enchanted news. A lot of Elsa selling for around a thousand dollars this week. Look at this on June seventh, one thousand dollars with one thousand and five dollars, nine hundred fifty dollars for a light plate, one thousand five dollars, one thousand dollars on the dot on May. 27th lowest verified today is going to be 975 for a german one but for a near mint english we have a thousand dollars on the dot by elion house of cards for your elsa enchanted rares this is the lowest i've seen elsa in a cool minute getting it for less than a thousand this might be the move you know because we've seen how high elsa can go and since we're on Elsa, how come nobody's really picking up Anna's? You know what I mean? This is from the recent set. The lowest verified is 180 by Game Center for your Anna True Hearted, which is a decent card. I like the Enchanted, though, and I'm just surprised that this one's not anywhere near as expensive as Elsa, you know. But if I have Elsa's, I'd probably want Anna too, right? So uh, I, I don't know if this counts as a princess. Um, I guess she's a queen, technically, uh, you know, but I would definitely want to add it to my collection. For less than 200 bucks, I think it might be a decent one to look at. And just like we were saying in the last Market Watch, a lot of these Stitch Rockstar Enchanted Store set championship promos are coming down in price too. Though was verified as $550 by Kawaii Vibes only. We have some sales for around $504, $499, $495. A lot of sales for closer to that $500 mark. But we are kind of picking up back uh, in the price a little bit more than $500. But I, like, I, like I was saying, I'm getting rid of mine um, as fast as I can. Because uh, I, I feel like the more set championships we have, the lower these are going to go down in price. You know, At, at some point, we're obviously never going to have this Stitch um print it ever again i do believe we're never gonna have it printed ever again so it's still gonna be expensive but yeah um i, I have two so i kind of want to get rid of one especially now that we have like a premier event prize cards you know not just set championship prize cards you know we have some really big prize cards so i don't know i just get the feeling that this is a little bit expensive for a set championship prize card and Diablo is still the most expensive Enchanted Rare in Ursula's Return. Lowest Verified is going to be 285 by Prophecy Gaming Co. Almost $300 if you pull this Enchanted Rare from your booster box. Basically paying for two booster boxes, right? But if you pull this Enchanted Ariel's Grotto, it's going to be as low as $50.76. Lowest Verified by Card District. Unfortunately, this is the cheapest Enchanted Rare in the game. The cheapest Enchanted Rare in the set. And if you pull this Enchanted Rare, um, you're actually just pulling less money than a Diablo. <laughs> you know, I think Diablos are a little bit more expensive than this Enchanted Rare. So ideally, maybe you want to pull a Diablo instead of this Ariel's Grotto. But that's going to be all for this week's market watch really quick i just want to point out that psa tweeted that they have graded a gold mickey blt serialized check this out um it's a grade of 10 psa tweeted it i just think this is a big deal for the game for lorcana in general because i get the feeling that you know it, it's never gonna stop and the game's gonna keep on growing now we have big name collectors we have big companies like psa beckett making social media posts about the gold mickey blt and you know it, it's a little surreal it's, it's kind of crazy seeing it all come to life and seeing a gold psa 10 mickey on my newsfeed it made me feel a type of proud you know what i mean because this is the game that i truly love and i truly am passionate about so you know i'm, I'm very excited to see the future of lurkana from the competitive aspect the collectible aspect the meta aspect and all that stuff so if you are too be sure to stay tuned to lurkana goons if you like this content and we'll see you goons next time